Um, I'm out here right now scouting for insect pests. In particular, I'm looking for imported cabbage worms. But that's it. So I know there are imported cabbage worms in the garden because I've been seeing the moths flying around during the day. They're little white moths, usually have one or two black spots on their wings, and they're really active midday. I also know that they're here because there are lots of holes in the broccoli and other brassica crops. Holes can be from different pests, but this is one reason why you get out and you scout. So scouting means like investigating your plants, looking for issues. When you're scouting for insects, you wanna look on the tops and the bottoms of the leaves because oftentimes insects are hiding out underneath your leaves and doing damage from there. Here's a little egg. See that? There's a couple more. Oh my God, look at this. There's one, two, three right there. Oop, couple more eggs. So this one's still pretty small. They can get a lot bigger, but you know, the smaller you catch them, the less damage they can do. I'm just gonna squish it. So if you're really vigilant and you get out and scout frequently, you can find caterpillars this teeny tiny um, and then get rid of them. So because I know there's a lot of damage happening, I'm kind of behind the times here. And I'm going to start coming out every day and scouting and just cleaning off my leaves. So another thing to keep in mind is a lot of times you find them deep down in the plant, especially as the broccoli matures, they'll get into the head and down in these new brand tender leaves. Um, so do a really thorough job looking through your plants. So as you can see, this lacinato kale is getting totally decimated um, by cabbage worms. And I'm gonna try to save the plant. I mean, if we can get this under control, all the new growth will be fine. Um, here's a teeny one right here. Other things that you can do to help with cabbage worms I mean, you should be planting beneficial flowers in and around the garden to attract insects that will parasitize them. For example, let your cilantro flower. And the other thing you can do is actually use organic sprays. I think those should be used only as a last resort. Um, in the home garden, you can usually get things under control without having to resort to that, but BT and Spinosad are both organic sprays that can be used to help out with your cabbage worm problems.